Hey, it's Meredith and April. We are here behind the scenes at Cellar Door Chocolates. Um, first, we are with Zoe, who is Hello. making some ganache, and she's going to show us and tell us what she's doing. Hi. Okay. So we're going to start with untempered chocolate, which is much warmer than tempered chocolate. Um, we're going to make the truffles here. So I'm going to walk over to our tempered machine, Zoe. You can see it's at 110 degrees chocolate is about 87 degrees. That looks so good. I just want to take my hands in there and drink it. Good. Like a chocolate waterfall. Yes. So I got this pedal here. I'm going to stop the flow of chocolate. Underneath. I'm looking for about three pounds of chocolate here, which I'll weigh out in a second. This is the dark chocolate. 55%. I've also got some cream here. Just heavy cream that I warmed up a little bit. I'm a little high there. I'm going to take a little bit. I'll show you guys while she's doing that. Looks like she's going to fill up all these trays and then make all those. And this one I'm making right now is espresso. So I've got my cream, my chocolate, and I'm gonna put a quarter cup of espresso in here. So you guys do all kinds of flavors of these mm -hmm. yep. in your shop? Oh, yeah. What are some of the other unusual ones that you guys have? We have a green chili and coconut, it's actually one that I really love, yeah. Wow. Yep. Not something you would think of. No, not at all. I also do a hazelnut, uh, milk and honey is really popular. So I'm just going to mix the cream into the chocolate and espresso. And it, I know that this should have, Facebook Live should have smell because this stuff smells amazing. Yeah, especially with the espresso in there. Yeah, no I kidding. love coffee. So basically, for time's sake, you are going to fill these trays, yep. and then they get a little bit firmer, and you pop them out over here. Yes, yeah, I'm going to put them in the freezer over there for a little while, and they'll set up and get hard, and then they'll pop out into a solid shovel that we can fill and roll. And then we're going to walk over here where Brooke is, and then we will see the next step for what they do with these little truffles. Yeah, so once they've been refrigerated and set up, we pop them out and um, we run them through the belt. This is tempered 55% chocolate. Um, this is our bourbon truffle, which is one of the items we're gonna bring to um, the Taste of Butcher Town. And they go through the, the fan here, it blows up the excess and they come off right here on the parchment. The smell, like I can't, I don't know how you work around all this chocolate all day and don't eat it. If it hits the floor, we are allowed to eat it. Oh, well, <laughs> what's a little and then chocolate we're, dust? We're topping these uh, with our bourbon barrel food smoked sugar. They are amazing. Well, thank you for showing us some behind the scenes. Can you tell people what kind of stuff they're going to get to taste if they come to this event Sure. Next week. You're going to taste our buttercreams, our um, bourbon buttercreams, which are like our bourbon balls. Mm -hmm. um, and then these bourbon truffles, which are right over here. Once they set up, this is what they're going to look like. Delicious. And if you all want to try one, yes, go for we'll it. we'll try one. And this is going to be the last thing we do on the video because you have to, as we were instructed, you eat the whole thing at once. The truffle you can eat one oh, the truffle. Yeah. Okay, the if it's a bourbon ball, you have to eat the whole exactly. thing at once. The truffle you can take a bite of. So we'll just take a bite. These are amazing. Oh my goodness, so creamy. Join us next Thursday. Tickets are still on sale at tasteofbutchertown.com. You can get them for $30, and we will see you at the point next Thursday at 6 o'clock. Thank you. <laughs>